Amber Rudd. Amber Augusta Rudd is a British conservative politician. She has served as Home Secretary since 2016 and has served as Member of Parliament for the East Sussex constituency of Hastings and Rye since the 2010 general election, defeating the incumbent Labour member Michael Foster. Rudd is the third female Home Secretary, the fifth woman to hold one of the great offices of state, and the fastest rising politician to a great office of state since the Second World War. Rudd previously served as Secretary of State for Energy and Climate Change from 2015 to 2016 after being the Parliamentary Under Secretary of State in the same department from 2014. She was appointed Home Secretary in Theresa May's ministry on 13 July 2016. Early Life and Career Rudd was born on 1 August 1963 in London, the fourth child of stockbroker Anthony Winton, Tony Rudd and magistrate Ethne Fitzgerald, daughter of Morris Pembroke Fitzgerald, QC and Christine Evangeline Minner Elizabeth Fitzgerald. Tony Rudd and Ethne Fitzgerald were married for 56 years. Her older siblings are Amanda, Roland, and Melissa. She was educated at Cheltenham Ladies College, an independent school in Gloucestershire, and from 1979 to 1981 at Queen's College, London, an independent day school for girls in London, followed by Edinburgh University, where she read history. After graduating from university, Rudd joined J.P. Morgan & Co., working in both London and New York. Rudd became a director of the investment company Lawnstone Limited at the age of 24 in January 1988, taking over from her sister and brother-in-law. Lawnstone became involved with Zinc Corporation, which was taken over by Monticello in 1999, before going into liquidation in 2001. Rudd was a co-director of Monticello between 1999 and 2000, but the company was liquidated in 2003. Between 1998 and 2000, she was also a director of two companies based in the Bahamas, Advanced Asset Allocation Fund and Advanced Asset Allocation Management. Rudd helped to find extras for the film Four Weddings and a funeral, for which she was credited as the aristocracy coordinator, and appeared briefly in one of the church scenes in the film. Parliamentary career After standing at the 2005 general election as the Conservative candidate for the Labour-held seat of Liverpool, Garston, Rudd's name was added to the Conservative A-list following her selection to contest the Hastings and Rye constituency in 2006. She moved to the Old Town in 2007. In the May 2010 general election, Rudd was elected as the MP for Hastings and Rye with a majority of 1993 votes. Shortly afterwards, Rudd was elected to serve as a Conservative member on the Environment, Food and Rural Affairs Select Committee. Rudd is Vice Chairman of the Parliamentary Committee on Female Genital Mutilation, which has campaigned against FGM and called for tougher legal penalties in the area. She has championed the cause of sex equality as chairperson of the all-party parliamentary group for sex equality, which published a report on women in work. Rudd chaired a cross-party inquiry into unplanned pregnancies which called for statutory sex and relationships education in all secondary schools. She has also called for a higher proportion of women in cabinet. In September 2012, she was made parliamentary private secretary to the Chancellor of the Exchequer, George Osborne. In October 2013, she became an assistant government whip. In July 2014, Rudd was appointed Minister for the Department for Energy and Climate Change. Secretary of State for Energy and Climate Change 2015-2016 
Following the 2015 general election, where she held her seat with an increased majority, she was promoted as Secretary of State for Energy and Climate Change. In May 2015, she was appointed as a member of the Privy Council. In November 2015, she proposed that the UK's remaining coal-fired power stations would be shut by 2025 with their use restricted by 2023. We need to build a new energy infrastructure fit for the 21st century. In November 2015, a leaked letter showed that the government was not on course to deliver its mandatory renewable energy target, leading to accusations from the ecologist that Rudd had knowingly misled Parliament. In July 2015, Craig Bennett of Friends of the Earth accused Rudd of hypocrisy in claiming to want to address climate change while at the same time, in his view, dismantling an architecture of low-carbon policies carefully put together with cross-party agreement over the course of two parliaments. Rudd replied that, government support must help technologies eventually stand on their own two feet, not encourage a permanent reliance on subsidy. Rudd participated in ITV's referendum debate regarding the European Union. She campaigned for the Remain side alongside Nicola Sturgeon and Angela Eagle. They faced Casella Stewart, Boris Johnson and Andrea Leedsim. Home Secretary 2016-present when Theresa May became Prime Minister in July 2016, Rudd was appointed Home Secretary, being the fifth woman to hold one of the great officers of state, after Margaret Thatcher, Margaret Beckett, Jackie Smith and Theresa May. At the 2016 party conference, Rudd suggested that companies should be forced to disclose how many foreign workers they employ, with business leaders describing it as divisive and damaging. The proposal was revealed as a key plank of a government drive to reduce net migration and encourage businesses to hire British staff. However, senior figures in the business world warned the plan would be a complete anathema to responsible employers and would damage the UK economy because foreign workers were hired to fill gaps in skills that British staff could not provide. In October 2016, she negated calls for Australian citizens to obtain easier access to live and work in the United Kingdom following the UK's departure from the European Union. Despite support from UK Foreign and Commonwealth Secretary, Boris Johnson, and Australian Foreign Minister, Julie Bishop, Rudd also dismissed the idea that a free movement zone between British and Australian citizens would be established upon leaving the European Union, a measure supported by former Australian Prime Minister, Tony Abbott, stating, there are no plans to increase immigration from Australia. So I wouldn't envisage any change. Later in October 2016, she decided not to open an inquiry into the events at all grieved during the 1984 miners' strike saying that there was not a sufficient basis for me to instigate either a statutory inquiry or an independent review. She was reappointed as Home Secretary after the 2017 general election. Local issues Rudd has been actively involved in the campaign for the local fishing fleet in Hastings. Her maiden speech advocated wholesale reform of the common fisheries policy. Rudd has also campaigned successfully for the construction of the Hastings to Bexhill Link Road. In early 2013, the government gave the road the go-ahead for construction after 10 years of campaigning. Rudd is now spearheading a campaign called Complete the Link to see the final stage of the road get funding for construction. She has supported electrification of the Marshlink line from Hastings to, which could result in extending High Speed 1, and providing a High Speed Rail link from the constituency to central London. In April 2013, a profile of Rudd appeared in the Financial Times which caused upset to some in her constituency as it 
reported her referring to people who are on benefits, who prefer to be on benefits by the seaside, moving down here to have easier access to friends and drugs and drink. She responded by stating that, I am incredibly optimistic about Hastings. I describe the well-known problems that Hastings has to the Financial Times. But I also talked about the incredible investment in the town, the fact that unemployment is going down, and that there are many positive things to say about it. In an uploaded video from a Hastings Inn, Right during the 2017 general election on 3 June 2017, Rudd appears to halt a speech by independent candidate Nicholas Wilson. She handed a note to the chairman who subsequently removed the microphone from Wilson, deeming it a personal attack, having already warned him about straying from the topic. At hand, Wilson complained of pure censorship, personal life, Rudd married the writer and critic Hay Agil in 1990 and they had two children. The couple separated in 1995, after Jill entered into a long-term relationship with journalist Nicola Formby. Jill and Rudd later divorced. Jill died in December 2016. Rudd was also in a relationship with fellow conservative MP Kwasi Kwarteng. Rudd is a trustee of the Snowden Trust, an organization that helps young disabled people access education. Rudd was a director of the Susan Smith Blackburn Prize since 2003, an annual award for a first-time female playwright in the English language. She also serves as a governor of the St. Leonard's Academy in Hastings. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.